Hey guys, welcome to another video. Um, and today I want to show you guys how to do rev matching. Let's say, let's say you've watched a lot of Initial D and you just want to learn rev matching. Or maybe you just want to, you've learned manual now and you just want to extend your skills <clears throat> or maybe show off to a friend and beat them to it. Totally get it. All of them are uh, totally viable. So today I'm going to show you rev matching. Um, and this is my own way. So, and um, I'm by far not a professional driver, but I have been rev matching for a while now. Um, and I will show you heel toe as well. So if you want to know how to rev match, uh, stay tuned. This is, I'm making this video because of a recommendation from a comment on one of my previous videos. So I stay true to my word and I'm making this video. So I hope you guys enjoy. I got a foot cam that I could hopefully edit in and I got my head cam as well. I have the steering wheel really high up so it might be really uncomfortable for me, but as long as you guys can see the gauge in the video, we're good. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, again, I am not no professional, but I do know how and I hope I could explain it to you guys in a way where you can understand what I'm saying. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hit a like if you learned something, hit the subscribe button, hit a dislike if you didn't like it, comment down below what you thought. And uh, do you rev match all the time? Do you heel toe? What do you guys do? Uh, stay tuned. Thank you very much. Hey guys, welcome. We are now in the car. And uh, before we start going, I want to just explain to you what is rev matching? Why do we do it? What's the purpose? Um, so rev matching, first of all, is just um, easier on the components, easier on the dry on you and the passenger, for example. Um, it's just stuff like that. Um, so basically, I'm not going to go super far into it, but basically when you let the clutch out, the, you know, there's the flywheel here going the speed of the engine, the RPM of the engine, whatever it is, and you've got your clutch here. So whenever you're downshifting, you're going from a lower RPM, let's say 3,000, to 5,000 RPMs with the lower gears going to be. So that clutch needs to match match where the flywheel is going to be. And so it's going to rub until it matches the same speed. So there's still a little bit of wear there. So if you take into consideration and you take out that friction zone of yourself, basically, by putting the clutch, hitting the gas, and revving it to where it's going to be, which is about 5,000, let's say, in this scenario, you're going to do that so that it doesn't have to find out, it does not going to have to, like, find its way to 5,000. It's already going to be there, so when you let the clutch out, it's not going to try to find it. There's not going to be any lurching. It just easier in the components because there's no friction cause in there it's just kind of there and if there is there's way less um it's easier on the passenger because they're not going to lurch forward you know you know that horrible thing when you're downshifting you know and your your head falls forward like this you know that's from from downshifting without rev matching and uh also it comes in to heel toe as well heel toe is very nice and it helps tons and um you need to learn rev matching for heel toe because heel toe is um, rev matching just while under braking and what we do this for is so we could reach we don't have that that lurch forward when downshifting going into a hard corner because that can cause you to lose traction skid out and stuff like that just the, the sudden shift uh weight shift forward can cause your you to lose weight on the back tires and cause them to spin out a little bit especially if you're booking it pretty fast. So you're gonna to wanna to learn how to smoothly change gears into a lower gear while under braking. And of course, this is a more advanced technique. So I'm gonna be showing you rev matching and then I will start teaching you the way of heel toe as well. So once you grasp what rev matching is, we could then transition into um, heel toe. You don't wanna to learn heel toe first it's it's okay you can but you're learning it the hard way let's do rev matching first it's not hard to get once you get it down and you start practicing it's going to be second nature and you're going to want to do it all the time and to be fair i love to do it all the time so let's get on the road and uh let's do this thing uh let's show you how to rev match all right so what we're going to do we're going to put this guy into first gear and I'm gonna assume you guys are learning to rev match. You're gonna, you know how to drive manual, so I'm not gonna really be showing you how to, how to drive manual, because that's not what we're here for. The wheel is super high up. It's really weird. So 
but basically what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna be doing the easiest things first, all right? So basically, so we are at 30, I just did a rev match there, but we are at 3,000 RPM in third gear. And, let, and we want to predict what RPM second gear is going to be in. And just for this, um, this, um, I can't think of the word, but uh, example, I'm sorry. I'm gonna put it in a second without rev matching and we're going to see what RPM it goes to. So I'm gonna do that right now. 35, you see how I, I jerked forward like that? And actually it's gonna be around 4,000. So now that I know it's going to be hitting at 4,000 RPMs. When I'm going to downshift here, I'm going to put it, I'm gonna put the clutch in, and when I shift it to second gear, I'm going to blip the throttle so that we can get up to 4,000 RPM, and then I'm going to let off of the clutch, and it should, we shouldn't get a big jerk, we should just go into the gear. So that's, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna hit our 3,000 here. Give it a little gas, right there, let the clutch out. See that? There was no jerk, and the car just went to that RPM because that's where we knew it was. And of course, as you're learning, you're not gonna know where the RPMs are supposed to be going, um, but that's up to your car. You know, my, your car is going to be different from my car with the gearing, just because we have different gearing, different engines, different red lines, different cars, different everything. So you are going to have to find that out yourself. And when you blip the gas, you're gonna wanna, you're gonna wanna do a good half throttle or full throttle depending on just how slow your rpms are if your rpms go up very slow you're probably going to want to full throttle that thing pretty quick it's, it's it's a quick blip i'm gonna put i'm gonna put the clutch in and just blip just like that you know what i mean you don't want to just you don't want to lay on the gas you're not redlining it you're not doing anything but you don't want to like lightly press on it either or else you're just you're not doing anything like let me show you here Let's go into what's down the shift a second. This is without me barely doing anything. It's I still want I still lurch forward. And if you do it too much, then you're just over revving it, for example. Let's we're just over revving it if we do it too much. Like and then it kind of has to fall down by itself. So there's a there's a sweet spot you could find. And you'll find it out with your car. For this one, for example, I have to bury the throttle in a little deeper than I would my EG. My EG is just so sensitive on the throttle and so lightweight that I can basically just tap the throttle and it'll go up really fast. The lighter weight flywheel you have, of course, the faster it's going to fly up. But I assume you probably don't have that. <laughs> and again, we're gonna come down here, hit that throttle. And there you go. And again, you won't know exactly where these RPMs are, but you'll learn it as you go. If you feel the car lurching too much and the RPMs have to catch up, to, like you didn't rev it quite far enough, give it more throttle, give it more gas uh, with the clutch in. If it is over revving and it has to make its way back down, you're giving it too much gas and don't give it quite as much. It's really pretty simple. So let's do this again. We're at 3000, we're gonna go to second right there just like that we're gonna keep showing you I'm just gonna keep showing you and also the higher the gear um, the easier it is for example going from going from fifth to fourth is a very easy one because the the gear ratio is very close together so it's not hard to rev match there but going from third to second it's pretty hard because the jump with the gear ratio is pretty big and then second to first normally you don't do second to first because there's no reason for that you usually just usually because that's like slow speed parking lot stuff you don't want to rev match that but that is really hard if you could rev match second to first you're pretty good because uh, that is the biggest gear gap of course so the bigger the gap is of the ratio the harder it's going to be to rev match it so the more gas you're going to have to give it the bigger the gear ratio gap is, the farther the RPMs are gonna travel between gears. That's why whenever you're in, you know, fifth going to sixth, the RPM barely goes down, as we can see right, right there. It does not go down very far. As you see, what's be sixth? We're gonna be in sixth here, 2000, and I could just, I just blip the throttle. And that wasn't even enough gas, as you can see. It had to crawl its way up a little bit, but let's see here. Rev it, 
perfect boom perfect perfect and then we can even do it at higher rpms and that wasn't even wasn't even enough Fourth right now, we're gonna go to sixth. I mean third, excuse me. Right there. Right there. See how much more gas I had to give it. It's all about finding where your it's all about finding out how your RPMs, how your gear ratios are set. Once you can figure that out, you can get this down pretty easy and again you don't have to get it perfect every time especially when you're just learning but I suggest when you're first learning just try to do it in the high gears doing fifth gear going like 50 miles an hour going into fourth those are pretty easy because the rpms are very close to each other it's only up about a thousand rpm so you could just you could learn how to blip that throttle fast And again, you want to blip the throttle when your your clutch is in, and you want to have the throttle off whenever you're letting the clutch out. Right there. And then again, third. I'm just kind of showing you examples. And now heel toe. That's the gist of rev matching. But as you can see, if you're going into a corner, you, you can't rev match, you only have two feet. You know, you'd have to just downshift without rev matching. And that's something we, we wanna know how to rev match while under braking. And that's where heel toe comes in. And it's just as easy as it sounds. It should be called toe heel, if I'm being honest. But um, this is where it comes in if you have small feet it's a little harder for you and judging on how the positioning of your pedal box is some cars are just very very unforgiving with their pedal box but all you want to do it's a little harder and this is how you this is why you need to know how to rev match you're basically going to be rev matching and braking with the same right foot so as you brake I'm gonna do a little rev match as you brake you want to slide as you're braking with your right foot you're gonna to want to pivot your right foot so that your heel hits your gas pedal at the same time and you're doing that to rev match so you're going to be when you pivot your heel over to the gas pedal you're going to press down with your heel on your gas pedal so that you could push the gas pedal to get to the rpms you need so that you could rev match while under braking for example let's do this i'm under braking pivot hit it let off just like that braking just like that and as you first start off it's going to be hard for you to judge how much pressure to give the gas and the brake because as you first start you're gonna want to when you're pressing the gas you're gonna want to you're gonna want to press with the whole foot and that's gonna cause you to brake and press the gas at the same time and don't worry it's a very natural thing it's just something that you're not used to you're gonna have to learn how to find a way to get your heel part down into, into, into the gas without pressing harder on the brake pedal. There's a little rev match again right there. And braking right there. And that was a little too much gas. But I almost like too much gas rather than too little. I'd rather the RPM fall rather than struggle and have to come up, right? Because that was that's a little more work for the clutch to do I'd almost rather too much gas but again you don't want to you want to get good to where it's right in that sweet spot where you want it all right let's do it let's do a heel toe here again clutch in tap the throttle put it in your gear and I let off the clutch just like that just like that and that was a little too little too little gas right there We're gonna do a heel toe here for you guys. Just like that. 
and it looks easy but if you're first starting off you'll realize it's a lot harder than it looks for sure and right there and again first gear is possible like right there but again usually you know i i never really rev match into first gear um at all you know you're normally just going into a parking lot so and you're normally just going below 10 miles an hour so rev matching in the first gear isn't something you really want to do but if you really want to learn and you're really trying to figure out how to rev match go ahead try it out you know it's not hurting anything really so really guys that's the gist of rev matching you it's really comes down to figuring out your your gear ratios and how how much gas you have to give it and trying to predict um, what RPMs you're going to be going um, but now I'm not I'm not thinking like if I'm right here in fourth gear at 3500 at 45 miles an hour I'm not like I'm not doing math I'm not like it's gonna be at five it's gonna be at four I'm not doing that you know I'm just kind of on the feel of the car like it's not pulling really hard you know it's kind of bogging a little bit so I know but it's st starting to pull so I know it's probably about 700 rpm up and what do you know exactly and now we're in the pool you know it's all about understanding your vehicle understanding where the gear ratios are and just knowing how much gas to give it rev matching is a lot easier it's just hard to break your habit of you know not of not rev matching uh, once you learn it though congrats it's something that prolongs your clutch life extremely it makes you look more skilled just knowing what you're doing and your passengers are going to thank you because their head isn't bonking all over the damn place also there's another tip here if you're not quick enough the rpms are going to fall right when you put in that clutch you're going to want to give it its gas or it's going to fall too far and you're going to give it more gas and you might as well not even have done it so for example let's see say i want to rev match right now but i don't give it gas soon enough i have to like and then you're slowing down and then so it really messes it up the rpms are going to be different if you don't hurry up so right when you put in that clutch you're going to want to give it a gas as soon as possible and you'll learn that as well if you take too much time it's going to fall and it's hard to figure out what rpm to put it at at that point point. and that comes with time of course and if you have a more responsive our car with more responsive and a lightweight flywheel or whatever this is going to be a lot better for you this car has a really has a lot of rev hang in it and you see how nice rev like rev matching is you know if you're not in the right gear and you need to get there quickly you could rev match and suddenly you're in the power you know like right this is a bad example like right now let's say i needed to get going right now flooring it you know i need it i need more time but rev matching i could just mash it and then i'm in the gas you know i'm in the power band at that point it's a very useful trick and it's honestly fantastic to know how to do and i feel if you drive manual and you want to drive them quickly you want to know how to drive them well you need to learn how to rev match and how to heel toe but don't get ahead of yourself um do rev matching first get a hang of it get how get to know how your gear ratios are before you start learning how to heel toe So that was it guys that's about it um i'd say for the final part of here i just want to say make sure you 
make sure you just figure out your rpms make sure don't be afraid of the gas and don't be afraid of the clutch once you put that clutch in give it the gas um and if you're giving it too much gas that's okay um just step it back a little bit um giving it too little gas is kind of the more of a problem and it's not even that big of a problem you know if you fail it you fail it and you give a little jerk it's okay you're learning don't get all mad you know i've been doing this quite a long time and i didn't even turn my ac off so that shows you something but um but you'll get it, you know? Don't get frustrated because you're la you're lurching a lot. Once you can get this down, it's a skill that really never leaves you. I could not drive manual for a long time, get in. It, it'd be pretty rough for a second, but I, you'd, I'd get it back, you know? It's, it's like riding a bike. It's like riding, it's like driving manual, you know? You never really forget, you might get rusty. But once you can develop this skill, it's something very helpful, especially if you want to push it, you want to go around the curve faster. You're going to want to learn how to heel toe. Um, or you could upset the balance of the car or you're not even downshifting um, before corners. And, you know, that's not good because out of the exit, you're not going to be going fast enough. So that's how you um, that's a simple tutorial on how you can rev match and how you can heel toe. I hope you guys found it enjoyable. I hope you guys learned something and I hope you guys enjoyed the foot cam if it worked. I'm sorry if I couldn't figure it out, but I guess we'll find that out. So uh, I'm going to put some foot cam footage on right now after this. So stay tuned if you want to see that. Otherwise, have a good day guys and uh, peace out.